to welcome this illustrious gathering. We have the zealous Vice President and Chairman of Tycon Kerala 2023, Mr. Jacob Joy. May I welcome you to the lectern, sir? Esteemed dignitaries on and off the dais, fellow charter members, and distinguished guests and delegates. A very warm, gracious evening to each and one of you. It's an absolute honor and delight to extend a hearty welcome to each of you present here to TICON 2023, which is the flagship event of Thai Kerala, which we conduct every year. TICON is a celebration, a celebration that embodies the spirit of innovation, entrepreneurship, and collaborative synergy. Today, in the morning, we began with a Capital Cafe pitch, followed by a Kerala Angel Network meetup, and now we are here to officially inaugurate TICON and take it forward over the next day and a half. Our gathering is graced by luminaries who exemplify vision, leadership, and excellence. And it's an honor to welcome each and every one of them to Tycon 2023. Mrs. Sujitra Ila, Managing Director, Bharat Biotech International Limited, and Padma Bhushan Awardee. Your presence here is truly inspiring, ma'am. <laughs> welcome to Tycon 2023, and thank you for taking time to be with us this evening. Mr. Arun Maman, Vice Chairman and Managing Director of MRF. We're looking forward, sir, to listen to your visionary inputs, which will give us a path to unlocking the true potential that we all have within us. Welcome to Tycon 2023, and thank you for being with us. Mr. APA Mohammed Anif, he is he's yet to come, IAS Secretary of Health, Industries and Commerce, our government of Kerala. His leadership has been instrumental in shaping what we uh, see as Kerala today. Uh, welcoming him too, and I'm sure he'll be joining us in a few minutes. Mr. Shankar Ram, Chair, Bi Board of Trustees, Thai Global. His presence amongst a numerous calls from different chapters. I understood from him, I think he's been traveling uh, every day over the last two weeks, and he just reached home day before yesterday. Uh, and his family asked him to stay back. And he actually told them, uh, I have a commitment in Cochin and he's here today. So thank you so much for taking the time out. It just shows your commitment to the organization. Uh, Nawaz, a fellow Thai charter member. Damodar, President Thai Kerala. Vivek, VP designate. Vinay. Uh, every organization is built through eons, through the leadership that it has had over the years. It's an honor to welcome all the past presidents of Thai Kerala here. We are what we are today, thanks to your effort over the past years. Thank you for being here. I take this opportunity to extend a very warm welcome to the press, invitees, delegates, fellow charter members, students, and our sponsors and their delegates. Your presence enriches this platform of innovation and collaboration. This inaugural session actually sets a tone for an eventful one and a half days ahead. We will also be looking into various aspects of what we can do over the next one and a half days. We have a book release titled Beyond Three Generations, co-authored by Nawaz, MSA Kumar, Feroz, and Mr. George Karia, which is a testament to fundamental business, family businesses, business transactions, and business principles. Thai Kerala will acknowledge and celebrate the indomitable spirit of entrepreneurs by giving the Thai Awards today. Uh, congratulations to all the winners in advance. Tomorrow promises to be a very fruitful day, a long day starting at 9, with a networking meet for all of us from 9 to 10, after which we have a power pack conference kicking off at 10 a.m. Engaging sessions wait, focusing on critical sectors, startup ecosystems, successful businesses, in Kerala and master classes around table discussions, investor meetups, and these we hope will catalyze impactful dialogues and collaboration. My heartful uh, gratitude 
to our esteemed delegates, attendees, for your presence and contribution. The next two days will undoubtedly be enlightening, inspiring, and filled with opportunities for learning and growth. Let's embark on this incredible journey of discovery, innovation, and transformation together. Taikon Kerala 2023 becomes us to explore new horizons, unlock potential, and collectively drive the change that will shape our future. Thank you, and welcome to you all to Taikon 2023. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your gracious words of welcome. And as rightly said, we are ready to embark on a voyage where stalwarts are ready to navigate our tea. Thank you, sir. And presiding over the initiatives and activities of Thai Kerala are, is Mr. Damodar Avanur, who is also presiding over the inaugural ceremony. For the presidential address, may we have Mr. Damodar Avanur. Messrs. Suchitraela, Arun Maman, Shankar Ram, Mohammad Hanish, delegates, our charter members, past presidents, my ex com members in arms, members of the excellent secretary that we have, the logistics team, and representatives of the awardees and the awardees. It's wonderful to have you all here for the 12th edition of Thai Kerala's flagship event, Taikon. For those of you who are the first comers to this conference, Thai is a global organization which has 61 chapters in 14 countries spread across the globe with its headquarters in Silicon Valley, USA. <coughs> we in, at Thai Kerala have close to 100 charter members and these members who are successful in their chosen domain have come forward to give whatever they can to the entrepreneurial ecosystem of the state and it's pro bono. Thai Kerala, I would say with pride, is one amongst the vibrant chapters globally. I'm sure Mr. Shankar Ram will agree to that. Thank you very much. <coughs> we have four verticals. Uh, one is called the TYE, which fosters entrepreneurship amongst school students. TU, which does it among college students, and both these are headed by our charter member, Vinodini. And we have the Thai women, which fosters entrepreneurship among 51% of our population, headed by Revati and Nisha. Capital Cafe, which uh, takes care of startups, startups, which is headed by Roshan Kainadi, and our investment arm called the Kerala Angel Network, headed by Ravindranath Kamath. TYE has planted the seed of entrepreneurship in a large number of students all these years. Last year, the figure was 2,500 students, and this year, Vinodini expects to touch 5,000 school students. Our school, the, uh, the team that wins from Kerala inevitably reaches the global finals almost all the years. One year, uh, students from a government school in Calicut reached the last eight in the global competition. <coughs> Recently, while having a discussion with uh, one of the Board of Trustees members at the Thai Global Summit in Singapore, I could gather that Thai Kerala is known for its TYE initiative across all chapters. And at the recent global summit, same summit, uh, we had one of our representatives from the Thai women pitching for the women's competition. Her business model, the way she presented, and the way she conducted herself really made us proud. Capital Cafe this year has received 200 applications and 10 of them reached the finals this morning. The results will be announced shortly. Kerala Engine Network is doing fairly well, and in order to make it better and more professional, Ravindranath Kamath and his team have tied up with a Mumbai-based organization for furthering this initiative. This year, we started another initiative. It is called the Thai Mentoring Institute. Just started, taken baby steps, the going is tough, we have to put in a lot more effort, and what we expect is anyone who, any entrepreneur can connect with this institute and get mentored, and this is being headed by our charter member Rahul Maman. <coughs> Coming to Taikon, this event was started way back in the year 2011 by the then 
uh, President John K. Paul, sitting out there, he took the plunge. Later on, all the past presidents, all the presidents who came, conducted an event every year, including during the pandemic. It was Thai, which I believe started this uh, entrepreneurial conferences in Kerala, and now we have quite a number of other organizations too conducting such events. A lot of people within the state uh, of Kerala, as well as outside, shout from the rooftops saying that it's very, very difficult to run an enterprise in Kerala and flourish. There are a whole lot of reasons for supporting this claim. Despite this clamor, we have quite a number of successful business houses doing extremely well, both nationally and on the global scale with their headquarters in Kerala. Whatever said and done, during a series of chats among the charter members, a serious thought process involved, evolved. Why don't we identify the entrepreneurial areas in which Kerala has its own strength and can excel? Focus on those areas and explore what Thai can do about it. And during a brainstorming session later on, five areas were identified, and that was the birth of Project Dia, headed by a charter member, Jimon, sitting out here. <coughs> the areas that were identified are agriculture, education, health and wellness, design and R&D hub, and last and not the least, assisted living. Project Dia envisages to facilitate cutting edge technology for these identified sectors, expose the entrepreneurs in Kerala to the best practices adopted globally in these sectors, and in the process, create an environment for these sectors to thrive and flourish in Kerala. With this in mind, we have turned this year's Thai uh, con topsy-turvy and decided to have ses sessions exclusively on these uh, identified five sectors. This is a break from the past. This has led to us having a really packed one and a half day conference with speakers who are experts in their chosen domain for you. We have got CMs to head each identified vertical of Project DIA. These CMs have taken upon themselves to focus on the sectors that they're heading for the next three to four years. And our Thai cons for the next three to four years are going to be aligned with Project DIA. Changing the way our Thai con is going to be conducted was not easy. There were a lot of appreh apprehensions. Will it work or will it not work? Doubting Thomas's raised the alarm. However, Chairman Jacob was very clear in his mind this move of just focusing on five sectors and not uh, having speakers uh, in other sectors created a pressure cooker situation. Jacob remained as cool as most cats, and but he had to burn the midnight oil. <coughs> Yesterday, we excoms gathered, and Jacob said, shoot questions at him on what preparations have been done. And if he cannot answer any of our questions, we are sure that something is wrong. We have close to 25 CMs who have come forward and said that they will assist in the sectors in which they have a passion. Now, if I read out the names, I'll be running out of time and the Jacob will eject me. <coughs> These CMs took ownership of the sectors and went full steam ahead. This led to another cat catastrophic situation in the war room that's our secretariat. Our Executive Director Arun and his deputy Divya started getting calls from and communications from a whole lot of CMs. Zoom meetings cropped up dime a dozen. That was when our past president Anisha and vice president elect Vivek stepped in and they took ownership of a few sectors. Here's a snippet. Two days back, I called up uh, deputy Divya and asked for some information. She said, I'm sorry, I'm busy at the moment. I've never heard Divya say this before. Just shows the pressure situation she's working in. Similarly, I asked Arun for some statistics for this presentation. He said, remind me tomorrow. Unfortunately, without reminding, he got this information for me on my table the next day. In conclusion, it's been a great team effort during the build-up to this conference. And if this conference delivers as we have planned, it just proves that teamwork works. A big thank you to all of you for being here. Sit back, enjoy a power-packed 12 hours of Tycon. 
Do mail us your feedback. We will use them to improve upon ourselves. A big thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. That was a quick recap of the past and also a brief roadmap for future. Thank you very much. Now that we have set the ball rolling for Project Dia, what better way to start than by lighting some Diyas themselves? We will start off uh, by lighting the lamp, the ceremonial lamp, which will mark the inauguration of the 12th edition of Taikon by Tai Kerala. May I request the acclaimed guests on stage to kindly do the honor. May we also have Mr. Arun Nair, Executive Director, Tai Kerala, and Ms. Anisha Charyan, Immediate Past President, Tai Kerala, to join the League of Guests here on stage.